Exactly. All right. There have been a number of reports uh, of patients who shed viral RNA for weeks, as determined by PCR. It doesn't seem to be infectious virus. And the real question is, are they a threat for transmission? And I'm wondering if you think we could use uh, a cutoff of viral loads determined by PCR to say this patient is no longer infectious, can go home, can go to a nursing facility, because right now the, the physicians are really having a hard time with that. Right. Again, a good question. And what is now sort of uh, evolving into a bit of a standard that if you get a cycle threshold of 35 or more, that the chances of it being replication competent are minuscule. Mm. So that if somebody, and you know, we do, we have patients, and it's very frustrating for the patients as well as for the physicians. Somebody comes in and they repeat their PCR and it's like 37 cycle threshold. But you never, it, you almost never can culture virus yeah. from a 37 threshold cycle. So the, I think if somebody does come in with 37, 38, even 36, you got to say, you know, it's just, it's just dead nucleotides, period. Mm. Yeah, because as you know, we can't easily culture infectious viruses. You don't have a BSL-3 lab everywhere. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So is uh, the, the threshold cycle uh, uh, is reporting out a pretty standard practice in doing a diagnosis now rather yeah. than just positive yeah. or negative? Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, if, if, when you go in, when, when I get my test, you know, it's negative. When someone comes in and it's positive, they don't give them the threshold until the, you go back and ask for it. Okay. But they know, they've got it. They've got it. Right. They've got it. 